So PhotoFocus readers, we're getting a chance to sit down with Dave Cross. He's got a great event coming up. I'm really excited by it. I'm going to be a, a bonus speaker there. But Dave, you have put together the third Photoshop Virtual Summit. This is probably the most in-depth Photoshop training out there. Five days, awesome experts. Tell us a little bit about the event and, and how you came up with the idea. Well, the, the whole idea originally started, I had actually had the idea of doing some kind of online conference well before the pandemic hit us. But when that actually happened uh, last, well, for me, it was last April that I kind of had the idea. And so I'd already been kind of researching what does a virtual summit look like and how does how does it work? And interestingly enough, most of the books that I read said the hardest part is coming up with the experts. And I'm like, I don't think it will be for me. I, I over the years got to know an awful lot of people who do this for a living. So, yeah, uh, and, that, and that was you yourself are a Photoshop expert, but, you know, a ton of Photoshop experts. Right. And, and, and I, I mean, it was sincerely, Dave, you're one of the nicest people in the, the photography and training <laughs> oh, industry. You. So you probably have some good friends you can call on. Well, I did. And, and, the, and the best part was I basically reached out and said, so here's a kooky idea. Like, I want to do this, but we're going to do it fast. And it's everyone has to submit two classes and it all fell together really quickly. And I did it the first one without really any expectation. And, and but the biggest thing for me is I really wanted to make it free education with an option to purchase something. So I didn't want it to be have like an entry price where people who were finding themselves without work because of the pandemic would say, I really want to attend this, but I can't. So from that respect, I wanted to make a little difference. So we were able to make a, a free entry pass to watch the classes. There's 40 classes spread over the five days, as you said. And the first one went really well, uh, both from a standpoint of the reviews that we got from the classes, but also the number of people who said, your timing couldn't have been better. I'm at home. I don't, I'm not sure what the future holds. So I have the time to actually sit down and watch a whole bunch of Photoshop classes. So the most common question I got is when's the next one? So we, uh, that, and that has continued after we did a second one, then we did a Lightroom summit and then this uh, third Photoshop summit. And it's been frankly, even easier now to approach instructors with some history to say, you know, these are the kind of people that we get. And these are the kind of reviews where people say, I love the training, give me more. So that's what we're doing this time, all new classes, uh, some of the same instructors, some new instructors, and like you said yourself, and we've got a couple other bonus sessions being added. So we're really trying to expand on the idea of Photoshop learning for everyone at no cost, again, with an option to purchase the VIP pass to get lifetime access, should you wish to do that. Yeah, well, I, I could see here the quality of the training looks tremendous. And, you know, even 30 hours, even if you watched all three summits, the, the thing about Photoshop, and I think it's coming up on its 25 years of history, there's an amazing amount of stuff in there. And so even if you think you know Photoshop, you're going to be surprised. I remember back when I used to teach Photoshop at university, every time, every single quarter, semester, depending on the school, people would come in and go, oh, I already took a Photoshop class in high school and, and I'd like to test out of this. And I'd say, why don't you stay for the first week and tell mm -hmm. me if you've <laughs> changed your mind? And they're like, I right. didn't know that. I didn't know this. <laughs> it's a deep program, right? There's yep. quite a bit of stuff in there. What are you most looking forward to watching? What are some of the, the classes that you personally enjoy? Because you've got some great folks in here. And even though you're a Photoshop Hall of Famer and, and you know you know Photoshop pretty darn well, Dave, I'm sure there's some topics you're going to have fun. Well, and part of what I love about the summit is that, that I ask the instructors to submit ideas and then, of course, pick the classes. And there's always tends to be a little bit of overlap. And it, my first reaction was, well, I don't really want to have two classes that are both on compositing, but then even then realize that two instructors are going to have completely different approaches. And that's one of the things that I frankly look forward to the most is to see how Corey Barker teaches a class on using brushes for compositing and then uh, someone else like Aaron Nace has an advanced compositing class, which I'm sure will have little bits of overlap, but whole new thoughts that I'd be like, oh, I never thought of doing that before. And that's, as you well know, one of the fun things about Photoshop is always that feeling like, I feel like I know this topic pretty well, but having someone who is really focusing on it for 45 minutes is bound to bring up whether it's keyboard shortcuts or a different technique or using a tool a different way. So there's that. I'm thrilled to have Bert Monroy because, you know, he's just incredible. Just I could watch him for two days alone, just 
when he does his masterpieces. I've, I've been so able he, to, to visit Bert's house. And I remember just, I mean, I was sitting there just watching him work and he's like, oh, <laughs> we stopped talking. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm That's just okay. watching you work. This is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's, there's that. And, and so it's, I re, it, I think it's going to be a great mixture of, of classes for all levels, whether you're just starting out and, or whether you're pretty, uh, experienced, you know, somewhere along the way, you're going to see some, some thoughts, some techniques, some shortcuts, you know, some approaches that will, will really help. Well, that's, that's awesome. And, and folks, it's a great deal. You know, you get to watch the classes live for free uh, and log in that weekend when they're playing. So there's, there's stuff in there that's going to be really useful. And if they log in that weekend, I think they could see a class if they missed one, if it wasn't a convenient time, right? But only during the, the, the five days or how does it work? So basically once a class each, each day on, on the hour, a new class is released and that then you can watch it for 48 hours. So there's a 48 hour time frame where it's for free. So Monday's classes are available until Wednesday and so on. And at that point, then they go are uh, archived, I guess you'd say into the VIP area. So the free pass and gives people 48 hours. So that way they don't have to worry about time zones and all that kind of stuff. Cause we have people from around the world, of course, tuning in. So the free pass gives that, that access for 48 hours. And then in the VIP area, basically it's a, a, a purchase of membership in effect that gives you lifetime access to rewatch the classes. Plus one well, the other thing that I thought was really important to be, to at least offer was things like class notes, because again, as you well know, at events where you're just being bombarded with information, you can try to take your own notes, but if the instructor provides notes for you, uh, that's a, that's a great bonus. So that's one of the things that VIP members also get is class notes. In many cases, they get downloadable files so they can follow along. And we even provided audio versions of the classes if you want to watch while you're on your uh, exercise but bike or listen jogging to Photoshop or something. while you're on the treadmill. Exactly. Like it, you know, it never hurts to hear that two, three, four times because some of these techniques. Yeah, you are never know. Well, I'm I'm really looking forward to the event. I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a fun class and lots of those fun. I'm teaching actions and automation and all these things in Photoshop that you could use to save time. I started with Photoshop probably back there like 23 years ago, uh, working at a TV station doing graphics for on air and we had tight deadlines and I've worked in the print industry and I, you know, continue this. And so I'm really enjoy helping Photoshop be faster and get things done. Mm -hmm. So I think sure. it'll be fun. And, and you've got, uh, you know, five great days of training. And I imagine Dave, you know, first off, people should sign up and get their free tickets so they can watch the event. But if they yeah. buy their tickets in advance, you've got, it's $99 for the, the VIP pass. If you come to it afterwards, it's 149. Do you do any cool deals? Like if somebody is excited and they want to get, you know, conference one and conference two that they missed, can they roll all three of these into a super bundle or what do you got? Well, unfortunately, we, we don't we can't do that just because of the the way that our the the instructors have a share of the of the money coming in. So trying to go backwards for, you know, some instructors were in the first summit, but not the second summit and so on. So I, I'm just not a good, good enough at math to figure that whole thing out. So um, but we can't but you what, can still access those trainings, right? Like if you want to buy conference one and conference two, can they go check out? stuff? No, basically, the way we do it is to make it we want to really have it feel like an in-person event. So if you okay. went to a Photoshop event, you would pay your entrance fee. And once the event was over, you'd have your hopefully workbook of notes and then that's it. So the difference is, of course, you can still go back and rewatch the classes. So once the VIP pass sale ends a couple of days after the end of the event, that's basically it for that summit. So, so the previous should, summits, in other words, if they enjoy the conference, don't yeah, we overthink don't, this. <laughs> right, exactly. We tried to price it in such a way that it really is a no brainer when you, especially when you consider if this was an in-person event, travel, hotels, meals and all that, let sure. alone the price of the event itself is. So we priced it in a way that I think, especially the early bird price, it's, I, there's been a couple of times where, again, you well know as an event organizer, you kind of think maybe I should have put a little higher, <laughs> yeah. but I want to make it affordable, you know, for people, especially right now when there's still people struggling over, you know, the, what we're going through in society. So $99 for the early bird, even if there's only a handful of classes you want to rewatch, it's still worth it. But I, I think most people find, I mean, I still get emails from people from the first summit saying, I still go back and watch some of those classes, you know, over a year later. And that's why we tried to make it long-term access. So you can rewatch them as much as you want. 
Well, that's excellent. I'm not going to make you name all of your instructors off the top <laughs> of your head because I'm sure that that's, that's a tough one. I am looking at the list, though, and, and you've really pulled in some of the best and some of the nicest folks here. Uh, I see favorites that I've worked with, people that have written for Photo Focus before, um, folks that I've seen at Photoshop World and other top conferences. You've really put together uh, a nice group here. If people want to learn more, Dave, uh, I know that we've got it all over the Photo Focus website. We've got some stories running about the event now. And if you're seeing this video, hopefully you've got enough time to go either attend the event or go check out those recordings before they're gone. But Dave, where should people go to get more information when they're ready to sign up? The easiest one is just PSSummit.com. That'll take you to the main page that has all the information, including nice little buttons that say click here for a free pass. Or there's also the option to go and check out the VIP pass and see what that's all about and sign up for that as well. Awesome. Well, we're glad you know we're, we're helping you get the word out about the event. We're really glad you're doing this, Dave. Folks, if you are on PhotoFocus, just click the button below the video. We've also got it in the description and on the video. We'd appreciate you doing that. But uh, Dave, thank you for putting this event together. And I'm going to ask you to give us one piece of closing, closing advice. Maybe not your favorite keyboard shortcut, but like one <laughs> of those epiphany moments in Photoshop where it just made sense or something you wish more people knew about Photoshop, besides the fact that there's an undo button, what else should they know? <laughs> One thing you think just holds people back? Well, I think the biggest thing for, especially if we're talking about people just starting out is that it can look overwhelming because there's so many options. And I, I don't even know what the current number is, but I know a while back I was teaching a class and I counted and there was like, I think 69 tools in Photoshop. And that's a lot of things where people go in thinking, I need to learn them all. But the reality is when you're first starting out, you need to know such a small core of tools to not be overwhelmed and just focus on learning some of the essentials. And then over time, you can expand and learn more things as you go. Absolutely. That's great advice. You know, it really is the giant Swiss army tool. And, <laughs> and while you probably open the blade a lot and maybe could use the toothpick a little bit more, you know, there's a lot of tools in there that are especially tools that you may never yeah. need or only need to know they're there for the times that you need them. Exactly. Well, Dave, thanks for putting on such a great event and for just pulling in such wonderful people here from our industry to help photographers and artists learn more. I see you've got, you know, classes for photographers, classes for artists and designers. It really is a, a very holistic event. Thanks for putting this one on. And folks, be sure My to pleasure. head on over to PS Summit. That's PS as in Photoshop. And then Summit, S-U-M-M-I-T dot com. Dave Cross, thank you. Thank you, Rich. Appreciate it.